Hello world, this is Siraj. Welcome to this Mac Tag. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create bulk certificate using Microsoft Word mail merge feature. So let's get started. So here we have a folder, bulk certificate folder. If I open this folder, here we have two documents. First one is certificate image file. Second, we have Microsoft Excel file. If I open this Excel file, here we have title, initial, surname, and topic. Here we have four columns. We are going to merge these four columns into Microsoft Word documents. So here I have opened this Microsoft Word document. And here we can bring the certificates and the person's details. So first of all, I'm going to do a couple of uh, page setting. So we'll go to layout tab. You can come to size. I'm going to make this size as a4 and I'm going to change the orientation from portrait to landscape here you can come to orientation and you can change into landscape so here we have this one I'm going to scroll down and you can get a complete view and then one more setting I'm going to go to this page setup I'm going to click on this launcher here I'm going to make this uh, border as 0.2 0.2 to in all four side point two that's great next we can copy and paste the certificate here we are going to get the certificate I'm going to press ALT tab here we have the certificate I'm going to click and drag and drop into Microsoft Word document that's great you can design a certificate like this and you can make as JPG or image file and you can bring the certificate here or else we can go to new and here you can search the templates, certificates, and you can hit the enter key. There will be many more certificates here. You can click and you can get the certificates directly into Microsoft Word documents. So here already I have designed this certificate. So I want to have the details, person details and the other details on this certificate. So I just copy and paste or drag and drop the certificate into Microsoft Word document. That's great. So we'll do one more setting. I'm going to click on this image file and we'll go to picture format. And here I'm going to click on this uh, rep text and here I'm going to click on this behind the text. And now I'm going to expand the certificate a bit more to fill the wide gap. That's fine. Now here we have a complete uh, fill of this uh, certificates. That's fine. Here we want to have the resource person name and here we want to have the title of the workshop. I'm going to click on the insert tab. We'll come to this text box. Click on the draw text box. I'm going to drag and draw this text box. Next I'm going to change the font style to this Adobe Gothic. I'm going to increase the font size little bit further 20 I'm going to change the font color as well we'll make this blue color font style and one more setting so we'll click on this text box we'll come to shape fill I'm going to make this no fill and with that hand we can come to this shape outline and make this no outline so we can have the text box and I'm going to copy and paste one more and I'm going to place on the title area and for this I want to decrease the font size as 14 and make the font style is Cambria font name Cambria that's fine the next task, we are going to merge the Microsoft Excel file into this Microsoft Word file. So we'll click on the mailing tabs and directly I'm going to click on the select recipients commands and here I'm going to click on the use an existing list command and here we have the file or you can select the specific drive and folder you can select the file where you have the details 
persons or the data that you have to bind with this Microsoft Word document. So I'm going to click on the open button. And now here we have sheet number one. So in this, so here actually we have this file. If I open this Excel file, here we have title, initial, surname, topic. So we want to merge all these columns to Microsoft Word document. Here we have the sheet name, sheet number one. That's great. So we'll minimize here. And here we have the sheet number one. Here we have the checkbox. First row of data contains column header. So as usual, we have the column header. So Microsoft Word will treat the first row is not the data, is a title or the header of the data. So I'm going to click on the OK button. So now it is merged. Now I'm going to click on this text box. And now we are in the mailing tab. And here we can come to the insert merge field. And you can see all four columns, title. First, I want to have the title. Now I'm going to place a space. Then we'll come back to insert merge field and initials and a space and then surname. Now I want to have this name a center alignment. So we'll go back to home tab and make it a center. And we'll come to second uh, text box. So here we want to have the title. So we'll go back to mailing tabs. Then we can click on the insert merge field and we can click topics. So here the topic is appeared on this area. So I'm going to make as center alignment. So I feel the font size has to be increased a bit higher. So you can increase the font you can just you can select this one and you can increase the font size. That's fine. Now I'm going to align a bit uh, center and that's fine. Now you can go back again to mailing tips. Here we have preview results. So now you can see the results. Now we can preview all of your certificates here. And the next one, this is previous, and this is first record, and this one is the last record. So all 20 we have. So in the Microsoft Excel file, here we have 20 records. Here we have 20 records. So here we have 20 certificates. Now we'll come to the final step, finish and merge. And now I'm going to print this document. So we can edit individually. If you want to fine tune anything specifically, you can fine tune. Or you can print all of the certificates. You can come to this finish and merge and print documents. And you can select any of these options. You can print all of the certificate or you can print the first certificate, current record. Or you can give you a range from one to five, or something like that. So I want to print all the certificates. I'm going to select all and you can click OK button. Then you can select the printer, in which printer you're going to get the printout. So I'm going to click on the Microsoft Print to PDF so I can show you all the certificates in PDF documents. So I'm going to make this scale size. You can press A4 in the keyboard and directly you can get this A4. Then you can click OK button. Then you can select the destinations where you want to save. I'm going to click on the desktop bulk certificates. And here we will give 20, you can give a name, 20, 30, three cats. Then we can click save button. Then this being processed. Then there we have. Then we can go to this folder and here we have 20 certificates. Now we'll open these certificates. Now we can see all 20 certificates. I'm going to zoom out and you can see all 20 certificates. So if you give directly, you can print this one. You may have a question how you want to separate all 20 certificates as an image file or a separate PDF file. So you can refer my previous video how you can use PDF tools or how to convert PDF files into image files. So then that video will helpful to you. That's all I want to discuss in this tutorial. Hope you'll have enjoyed this video. If you love this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the green bell. Then you'll be getting in front of my brand new videos. Thank you very much guys. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.